I'd never gamble with my own money, though. Yours? Sure. Out of the way. Hey, watch it. Ah, you want to buy something? You need to talk to Cassandra. She said you could use some help. Assuming you're Emmanuel. Assume at your own risk, Lincoln Clay. So running the weed, y'all got a routine laid out? We take a boat to the bayou, grab the bears, bring them back. Bayou can be a rough territory. Dixie Mafia knows every inch. <laughs> Did those white boys scare you, Fred? Did they touch your zozo when you were a child? Cassandra failed to mention your charming personality. I highly doubt she forgot. You do this kind of thing back in Haiti? Back in my country, I was a hoogan, a priest. What does a priest know about trafficking weed? I did not want marijuana, Fred. My cargo was refugees, people. I saved their lives, got them away from Duvalier. But you probably don't know much about that. We gonna have a problem, you and me? Cassandra says we are partners, that everything is cool between us. Are we cool? Don't think I call it that. Neither would I. Sandra might be able to let go of what you did to our people, but I cannot. Maybe you'd be happier back in Haiti. It was not my chance to come here, leave my home. But I'm trying to make the best of it. 
Aren't we all? There are still Dixie Mafia scattered around the Hollow. If you have the time, you should see to them. Convince them to leave. A shipment of weed is being delivered down in the bayou. Get a boat, use it to bring everything back. Cassandra is a woman of great strength, fiercely independent. But sometimes she uses her independence to keep others at a distance. God ain't forgetting what those motherfuckers did to this place, Mr. Clay. I won't tease her. So I ask for the well, soul and this one. Coming from. They don't have any. Now I ask you, who doesn't have salt in their heart? The Loire welcome you, and so do I. I recognize the trust you had to have to put the holla in my hands. You won't regret it. We had this kind of money because of all the work you've done. Take it. You deserve it. Don't forget our agreement. Only way things change is if we have power. And I want every piece I can get of this city.
Looking pretty lively for a dead guy. <laughs> I'm betting Skeletta was happy to see you. Where you going? Pusher, huh? This kind of thing's good for fetish. We're having some cover. Where you 
was headed. Get someone out here to rip a roll for this cash. Hold your horses. I'll get to you. Can I get a resupply in River Row? Be out directly. Use about anything you can use? Show me what you got. Hope you're happy with that. See you later. Check that shit out. Can't kill all of us. You got all the oh, gifts. Fucking packed it in. Must be hiding somewhere. Yeah, yeah, keep looking. Maybe he's over there. Fucking packed it in. We Shots done here. From that away. This way. There you are. You gotta get yours. Fuck 
was just here. Go back and look over there. I say we tried that area. God damn it, it's fucking gone! Go back and look over there. God damn it! He got another one! He ain't back there! That's it! That's some good shit! Fuck! I'm out! Never should've come here! Running for cover! There, there, you see him? Great. That sounds great. Whatever you say. See? Things are already looking up. <laughs> Need you guys to secure the smuggling operation at the warehouse. in the third platoon company C of the 614 tank destroyer battalion during World War II. I trained as a medic, but I still carried a gun. Every man in our company was black. The army didn't know what to do with us other than they didn't want us fighting with the white men. Glenbach. Limbach was that little French town up there near the border with Germany, and we were ordered to take it. Now, the crowds took out three of the four anti-tank guns we had, but there was no way in hell we were letting them get the better of us. We were determined to show we was just as good, if not better, than every other soldier in the service. I, I don't like talking about the medals I got over there. Only way a man survives something like that is through the grace of God. Doesn't seem right celebrating a little piece of tin. No one knows I helped Lincoln except for you and John Donovan. Not that I'm keeping it a secret, mind you. Just that nobody ever came around and asked about it. Hey, Lincoln, that prick Greco threw me out on my ass. He can give a shit I got a pregnant wife at home. Nice to be back on the job.
Greco's in that building at the end of the block. A lot of whores in there. Probably face down a pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front, you take the back. He tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Those are Marcano's guys. Cut, suck. Come on, back to the car, you drive. I'll cover us. Fuck, that little prick gets away. Ha! Ha! Went through the windshield. Is, is that? How the fuck did Greco end up with my car? It's son of a bitch. Stay on him. God damn it. Why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill the little shit state. I want to take my time. Besides, until I get at Marcano directly, this is the next best goddamn thing. Point taken. Ah, ah, fucking bridge work. Fuck, Sal's guys don't let up, do they? Ah. Don't shoot my car, Vito! Fuck! Ain't hey, making any promises. No way I'm letting that damn shit get away. God damn it! The fuck are you? Let's get him the fuck out of here. The cops are closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. Code 3-5, suspicious person in vehicle. Responding you to defend. Oh, it's not one thing. The fucking cops are on our ass. Motherfucker, that's what happened. Now shut the fuck up! Settle down back there, kiddo. Ride'll be over soon.
chicken shit, motherfuckers. Let me go already. Back to your place. Yeah. Pull around to the chub shack in the back. And as for you, have a little dignity. Christ. Ow! Somebody fucking help! Ow! Watch out for cops. Don't want to get pulled over with this asshole in the back seat. Whew. Shit. <laughs> for a couple of years there, I really thought I might be done with all the Jimmy Cagney bullshit. But here I am. Funny. I kind of figured you from all the Edward G. Robinson type. <laughs> Look at you, kid. You know, God's got a sense of humor, too. It's sick as shit, but that motherfucker's got one. <laughs> oh, oh, please! I didn't do nothing! Didn't do nothing? You were getting ready to fucking kill me! I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do! Ah, that fuck never liked me, I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I know. I know. Come on, Mikey, why do you want me gone all of a sudden? He said you were a carpet baby. Never should have been down here in the first place. <laughs> you want me to keep going? You got nine more! Fuck! Listen, Jesus, he was worried you knew about the casino! And so we're gonna play up to Leo and the commission! What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sally's... You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there. He wants to go legit. Turn this city into Las Vegas. Gambling's illegal. Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal. Uh, which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the lost chain. Who else is involved in this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I swear it. <sighs> I told you what you wanted to know. You could have let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Stupid fucking prick. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Yeah, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma, helps me out sometimes. Cuban, mean as fuck. She talk to us, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. At what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. <laughs> You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You paid me with fucking old. You think this is a game, <laughs> son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shit. Well, hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. Mainly, I'm worried I'm going to get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass? You run it with me. 
And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sound boring as fuck. It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. And now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, nicks, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah. Lincoln Clay is still alive. Fuck 